name is Chase Johnson. I'm from Denver, Colorado, and we have used C3 Group several times on some of our large loss commercials and our higher end residential for their appraisal services and their public adjusting services. Their knowledge of the market, of the ever-changing regulations, and their ability to create a very thorough estimate from a, uh, an understanding of construction and the management of the project. Good afternoon, everyone. Lead meteorologist John Trica here for our daily 12 p.m. hill forecast on this Monday. Thanks to C3 Group and Merlot Group, as always, for sponsoring our videos. Check both of their pages out in the description below if you're watching us here on Facebook. We have quite a bit of activity starting on Friday and moving through this past weekend. Looks like we might see some more today, and then we might actually have our first real hail-free day of uh, the season so far since about April, so we'll talk about that in just a second. If you have any issues with the website and needing to set up a training, remember you can give us, simply give us a call and we will get you all up to speed, answer any questions you may have. We can do whole groups. It doesn't have to be one person, it can be like your whole sales team or whatever it needs to be, so that way you guys know how to use Hailtrace to its full potential. Again, the phone number will be appearing at the end of the video here. I can say it, but chances are you might not remember it. It's easier just to see it at the end of this video. So, reviewing this past weekend, we had on Friday, uh, big storms Minnesota and northern Wisconsin. They unfortunately stayed to the north of Minneapolis like I was a little concerned about. However, there still was. There was lots of baseball size hail. Pine City and Randall, Minnesota and also for uh, Tr Trade Lake, Wisconsin. About 17,807 homes were impacted by that and you can see here uh, quite a bit of damage of course when you get up to that baseball size and you can see the, I think this one was from Pine Lake, and I think this one was from Randall. Again, pretty large hail out there, and I know since Minneapolis itself hasn't had too many big-time storms, I know this is just a little bit of a drive to the north to go check that out. So check that uh, map out on our website, and also check out another storm that happened across the Front Range on Saturday. We had uh, Pueblo, Cimarron Hills, and Denver, so basically all up and down that Front Range. Uh, up to golf ball size hail, the majority of that was in Pueblo, and we had about 50, 57,000 homes impacted with that. And you can see a couple pictures here of the ranging hail sizes, and I just grabbed pictures from our map. So you can go check that out at Hail Trace as well. So we have more hail possible today across that front range area, assuming... Uh, well, looks like PowerPoint's take. There we go, taking its sweet time. Though it's not a very high risk, we could only see hail up to maybe isolated ping pong ball size hail today. There isn't a whole ton of instability out there, so it looks like we're keeping a more marginally severe hail, and there's even some indications that the storms might have a hard time making it over the mountains and into the more populated areas, giving Denver only a 2% chance of seeing storms, and that's Basically, if they can get over the mountains, we could see some hail. And even then, it might have a hard time getting up to that severe limit. I wouldn't be surprised to see a lot of really small hail with any storms that can make it over, um, or nothing makes it over <laughs> to begin with. So it may not be a crazy day, 2% even a further north towards Casper. So just a generalized, there's a chance for some marginally severe hail for the afternoon. If for some reason we're able to get something really strong, we could get to some ping pong ball size hail. So that future radar showing some storms forming this afternoon. Again, kind of staying up in the mountains and then maybe making it over into the more populated areas like Denver, Fort Collins, etc. So we'll just have to watch this. It'll be happening this afternoon after about four o'clock local time. And they'll be winding down pretty quickly after the sun goes down this evening. So that's all we're really looking at for today because tomorrow we have a low hail chance. This is the first time since I think about April we haven't really had a good chance for hail. We are getting towards that end of July where things tend to wind down a little bit anyway. Uh, we will pick things back up again up into the Dakotas starting on Wednesday. However, tomorrow looks like a very quiet day and I actually won't be here doing a video tomorrow. I'll be frank. Instead, uh, I am off for the day. So tune in tomorrow and we can talk maybe not about obviously Tuesday's hail forecast. It's going to be pretty quiet, but for the remainder of the week. So that's all we really got for today. Yeah, I know somebody commented weak sauce. Yes, there's a fairly quiet forecast for today, but that is what happens. And hey, you know what? Storms do surprise us from time to time. Um, there's been plenty of instances where 
it'll hail in places that it isn't forecast just because it is the summertime, things can pop up. So as always, follow us here on Facebook, make sure you don't miss any of that, hit C first so you can supersede that Facebook algorithm and things pop up top of your newsfeed, especially when big storms happen. And give us a call at 855-334-4245 and any comments, questions, or concerns you may have, or if you are interested in getting a training or if you're interested in what Tailtrace has to offer for you, uh, email us as well, info at hailtrace.com, visit our website at hailtrace.com, and finally follow us at Hailtrace on Instagram. Hope you guys have a great rest of your Monday. I'll see you again on Wednesday and tune in tomorrow to see Frank at 12 p.m. like we do every single weekday for these hail forecasts. Hopefully, do those hail dances, maybe someone can surprise us and get an exciting storm today or sometime this week. If not, see you again tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody.